This year's annual candlelight vigil cannot take place due to COVID-19. Instead, we reflect on its history and the importance to the participants. My name is Ian Douglas, and 70 years ago, I was a member of the Royal Canadian Army Cadets in Montreal. This exciting experience prompted me to become one of the founders of the Army Cadets here in Brighton. The Royal Canadian Army Cadet Corps 100 and its participation in the candlelight vigil that has become a most popular part of Brighton's Remembrance Day activities each November. While the Corps has been central to the vigil almost from the beginning, 2019 saw the cadets take over the responsibility for the entire ceremony as it is conducted at the Cenotaph, including choosing the homily and other recitations deemed appropriate for the ceremony. First off, what indeed is a candlelight vigil? One definition that seems most suitable for our use is, quote, a candlelight vigil is an outdoor assembly of people carrying candles held after sunset in order to show support for a specific cause as memory of the war dead. Our vigil has become an integral part of our remembrance duties with the citizens carrying their candles to the cenotaph, laying them around it, while the entire process is overseen by the members of the Cadet Corps. During the weeks leading up to Rem Remembrance Day, the candles are distributed throughout the community with individuals attaching such specific dedications as to quote, to the unknown soldier, a tribute to our veterans, in memory of our fallen heroes, unquote, or to specific members of family or friends with the name inscribed on the candle sticker. Brighton's vigil, carried out in the evening before Remembrance Day, sees the citizens of the town carrying their candles, led by a piper and the cadets of Corps 100, moving from the Legion to the Cenotaph. By this time, four cadets are stationed at the four corners of the Cenotaph in a position of, quote, resting on their arms reversed, unquote. This sees the four cadets with bowed heads resting on their reversed rifles. This position depicts the act of paying homage to those who made the ultimate sacrifice on behalf of our country, as reflected by the cenotaph that has the names of Brightonians who fell in the two great wars. While Brighton's vigil was not the first of its kind, there were previous vigils in at least two other locations in Ontario, it is believed that the idea of our style of vigil originated in the Netherlands in 1995 when Dutch children placed lighted candles on the graves of Canadian soldiers killed during the liberation of the Netherlands from Nazi Germany in World War II. The idea of creating our very own Corps of Cadets came out of our first vigil when it was necessary to recruit cadets from neighboring communities to stand vigil. Our current commanding officer, Captain Robin Brooks was a strong member of the initial team but brought the idea of a cadet corps for Brighton from concept to reality over the period 2009-2010. In summary, the cadet candlelight vigil has become an expected part of our remembrance services and is annually looked forward to by many of our citizens.
On Remembrance Day, we honor our fallen soldiers that fought for our freedoms. Poppies were a common sight in the Western Front in World War I. This, along with his fallen friend, inspired Lieutenant Colonel John McCray, a Canadian medical officer, to write the famous poem in Flanders Fields. In Flanders Fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the large still barely seeing him fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, where the dead short days ago, we lift out dawn saw sunset glow. Loved and loved, and now I lie in Flanders Fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not see the poppies grow in Flanders Fields. I wear my poppy to show my gratitude to the brave men and women who served in the past and the soldiers that keep us safe today. Thank you. After the first training year began for the Brighton Army Cadets, we were approached by the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 100 to participate with the candlelight vigil held on the eve of Remembrance Day, November 10th, and continuing through the night up to the end of the Remembrance Day service on November 11th. The first year, the vigil was attended by only three junior cadets that stood all night on the cenotaph and thus began a tradition that continues with heartfelt dedication to this day. The cadets of Brighton take seriously this privilege to pay respect to those who gave their lives and those who dedicated their service to our country. Some arrive with a goal to not take one break, but to stand silently and still for their whole two-hour shift. They have stood vigil in all types of weather, sometimes moderate, sometimes bone-chillingly cold, and this past year with snow swirling about them. They rely on their training to dress appropriately for the weather and arrive at their appointed time at two-hour intervals throughout the night. When given the option to pass on this detail due to inclement weather, their answer is always no. We will carry on, despite the inclement weather, as they know that the soldiers that they are honoring did not have that privilege. Our parents are just as dedicated, delivering and retrieving their cadets throughout the night. As with all of the numerous acts of commitment to their cadets' success, they recognize the importance of supporting their cadets in this endeavor. We thank them wholeheartedly for supporting the Corps because without them, we would not be able to complete this task. To the community at large, we thank you for stopping in to express your respect and thank the cadets for what they do. As the morning sun comes up, breakfast and hot chocolate may be delivered to whoever is present. What does the candlelight vigil mean to me? This event is an opportunity to teach the youth of our community of a time that was very stressful, of a time where the country and its allies came together to defend those members of our world who were under siege. It warms my heart that our youth so willingly give of themselves to honor those who laid down their lives and defended our country during numerous times of strife. As I have gone through numerous photos in preparation for this presentation, I am reminded of the wonderful youth of our community who have put on the uniform of the Royal Canadian Army Cadet Program. I am so proud of them and I will continue to honor and respect the cadets for their dedication during the Remembrance Day season.
Remembrance Day is a significant day where Canadians on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month acknowledge the lives of the fallen who heroically fought for our freedom. As Canadians, we show our appreciation on Remembrance Day in many ways. Parades, school assemblies, and by giving a moment of silence when the clock strikes 11. The Cenotaph is a monument that represents the lives who are buried elsewhere. This tradition started in England after World War I. Then, after World War II, it was extended worldwide. The Cenotaph also provides a sense of closure to families who don't know where the loved ones remain. I feel it's important to contain this tradition as a cadet because it shows discipline and respect. Standing on guard during a cool November night is not easy. When we cadets stand at attention, we are reminded of those soldiers and the enduring actions that are taken to fight for the world that we get to live in today. Lest we forget, thank you.